everyone. How's it going? I had to jump on here today. I just I was thinking about a lot of stuff uh, as I'm, you know, going from stop to stop. And uh, this is kind of going to be like a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a scolding to people. So let's take it in stride, guys. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, everybody does bad things from time to time. I'm not saying I don't. Mostly they're in the form of mistakes, though. But uh, I just have to say something about the, the incompetence of U.S. drivers, and today, <laughs> I'm going to be talking about Californians. <sighs> There's some special people out here, man. No joke. In the same way that uh, people from Missouri or drivers from Missouri are special, you know, California is special as well. Give me a second, guys. I'm trying to freaking merge here. I'm going to see if anybody's going to let me in. Well, what do you know? It wasn't so hard this time. That's nice. Thank you, girl. I appreciate it, old man. I'll go ahead and flash it. So... Yeah. Today, I've seen so many close calls with my truck and cars, my truck and motorcycles, or like, I, just a few minutes ago, like 10 minutes ago, I almost saw what could have been a horrible wreck. Uh, and it just, it gets under my skin every time I come into California. Because it's like, it's just disrespectful. Like, mainly, we'll say truck drivers get disrespected, like, a lot here. And, you know, when you first start driving, you get cut off by damn near everyone. Everyone cuts you off. I'm talking teenagers, old people, middle-aged people, freaking other truck drivers out here truck drivers who aren't in their truck at the minute but driving their car they disrespect the other truck drivers I'm not saying everyone but I know there's some come on now like if they do it while they're in their truck they definitely do it while they're in their personal car um it just sucks and I hate I hate dealing with it every single time I come into California it's the same shit, and I just have to talk about it. I have to. Because it's ridiculous. Um, I wish... Oh, Sorry, guys. There's, like, there's just so much going on right now. I don't even know what the fuck is going on right now. people would let go of their ego on the road. That's that's one of the main I think yeah, the, the only the main reason <laughs> why people act the way they do out here. Like, not only to other, you know, four-wheelers and stuff like that, but especially towards commercial vehicles um, in this case semi-trucks, semi-drivers. Um, so they'll cut you off, they'll ride your tail all day, uh, you know, as soon as you turn on your blinker, they're already coming around, they don't let you in, you gotta sit there with your blinker on for like literally a minute, trying to get over at times, because nobody wants to, nobody wants to, you know, show some, some common decency and do the right thing, that's the problem. It's just, nobody's trying to, you know, one-up anybody out here on the road. It's not, this is not, it's not a game out here. And I think people need to understand that 
and realize that they're not the only ones out here driving. There's other people. We have jobs to do. Like, we're not on vacation. We're not trying to race you. We're not trying to, you know, stop you from going where you got to go. However fast you got to get there. Like, I just don't, there's no reason to do it. And yet they do it. Like, there's always an excuse from somebody. Like, oh my god, they're too slow. Or some other crap excuse. There is none. To me, anyways. Somebody else, you know, if we got a different opinion. But I'm sure a lot of people can agree with me that the ego needs to go. It doesn't help anybody. And it puts everyone around you in danger. I don't include, I didn't say everyone around you and yourself. I said everyone around you because if, say, a person makes a call to do something stupid, like, we're all adults out here. You gotta know when you're doing something told just dumb. It's like, and if you want to make that dumb decision, I'm not, don't expect me to shed tears or cry for you when, you know, you crash or something bad happens and you're, like, boo-hooing, trying to blame whoever else you're trying to blame out here. It's like, nah, you knew what you were doing or you should know. And if you don't know, why, how did you get your license? Why are you even out here driving? Because if you don't know what you're doing, don't come out on the road acting like you do. And then be surprised when, you know, you do something make a bad decision a bad call or you just blatantly don't care and you get into an accident you cause an accident and someone gets mad at you they have every right to be truck drivers i'm talking about truck drivers too motorcyclists as well today earlier today there's been traffic all day for me i'm stuck in it right now and there was i think a trailer at this time right now I'm Bob's Hill but I was hauling a trailer earlier and I was checking in my windows you know normal stuff and I hear a motorcycle I see the motorcycle in my driver's side mirror he's coming up and I see him I see him lane splitting I'm like okay I check my sides make sure it's not gonna get tight make sure I'm you know far enough to the right in my lane to where he couldn't hit me um so did everything I could to make sure that I did not get in this person's way. Which is what you're supposed to do. However, he was extreme. He came by, he passed me. He was extremely close to my truck. And that is what I don't like. It's super dangerous. And in California, in case you guys didn't know, uh, it's legal to lane split. I have done it myself on a motorcycle. I will never do it again. I, I hated it. I hated it. The entire time, I just hated it. It was it was necessary. It was nice to get past traffic, but the, the uncertainty of someone darting out or something, was it was too much. I was like, I was white knuckling the, the handlebars and everything. It was, it was, it was no bueno. And I couldn't do it. And out here, I see motorcyclists all the time. Super close. Like, they'll be lane splitting and say there's some space in front of the truck, right? Like, they don't even, they get half the motorcycle past the bumper and boom, right over into my lane. And I'm like, dude, come on now. Like, you don't look that cool. Stop it. There's no need. There's just no need. It's disrespectful. And I say it's disrespectful because it's like if someone did that to you, I know motorcycles all the time. I get upset when a car passes me and it just cuts me off on in my truck, my bike. It's dangerous. And motorcyclists know that. So, and I bet you the same ones cutting off semis out here and other cars are probably the same guys who bitch and moan about other cars out here cutting them off or driving too close yada 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 and then 
they come out here and they do the same thing without a second thought. I don't get it. And it's frustrating. It really is because one wrong move and you can you can go under my trailer. You can hit my tires and boom, you're done. It's just it's just have a little bit more respect out here for everyone. And I think things would go a lot more smoothly. It's not about, you know, the infrastructure and the freaking, the way you design the goddamn lines on the road, man. I mean, yes, sure, it has something to do with that. I'm not saying, you know, civil engineering isn't fucking null and void. I'm saying it's up to each and every one of us out here to do our part and make sure that we stay safe and respect each other. And I think that is long gone. No one cares. And the people who do care, I can tell are slowly losing, you know, like hope or their will to keep caring. It's just, it's not good. Like, I, I try and keep it up because I know that it makes a difference to some people out here. When you give them space, when you let them in, you know, it shows that you care and it just makes it easier for them. Like, yeah, I might have to stop a couple more times than I want to, but I let somebody in and I did a good thing. And they need to be in. Like, I'm doing my part to help the flow keep flowing. It's like, why can't, why can't you? Why can't everybody else? So, I remember I came extremely close to killing somebody on a motorcycle. I was, I forget the city where I was at, but it was heavy traffic and I was coming off an exit. It was like three lanes merging into two or something like that. Um, and then a, a fork in the road split, like two exits in one, I guess you could describe it. And uh, it was, the lanes were really small, like really small. My truck and trailer barely fit into it, it seemed like. And I I remember I was constant, I was checking my mirrors constantly. Because in situations like that, you can never be too certain. Checking my mirrors, I looked to the right, didn't see anything except the cars to the right of me in their lane. I looked to my left. And for like a second, I just looked. And then I look to my right again, and all of a sudden I see like there's just boom a motorcycle coming up right beside me, blind side no less. And he's he's got to be doing like he's going really fast, really fast. And this was this was like I think everybody else, including myself was rolling at like five, maybe 10 miles an hour up through this, this exit. And this guy just flew by me so close. I did not see him. Mind you, I just told you, I look right, I look left, and then right again. In that time, maybe two seconds have passed. So it's not like I was just sitting there staring at my left mirror, not paying attention to my right side. No, I was. And this, when I tell you he came up out of nowhere, I mean it. He came up out of nowhere. Zoom in by me. This road, this exit, I remember clearly. It was bumpy as hell. The lanes were not wide. So already I had been like, you know, being jerked around in my lane, trying to keep it straight and mind the construction. We were surrounded by concrete barriers. There was a bunch of construction there. So truck drivers, you know, it doesn't make it any easier. It makes it a little bit more difficult to maintain this truck in your lane when all that is going on. Plus the road is like crap, oh on now. So it's difficult. Had I had, you know, just even nudged the truck over, 
to the far right side of my lane, which was like, I don't know, maybe three inches at that point. Had I had even had jerked, had I had had to jerk the truck to, you know, avoid someone on my driver's side, this guy would have been fucking toast. And you know who they would have blamed? They would have blamed me. Because, oh, you know, I should have seen him. I should have maintained control of my truck. So I guess I'm just supposed to let someone hit me or something else happen on the other side of my truck because someone wants to be stupid and pass everybody up at 40 plus miles an hour when everybody else is doing five to 10 on an exit ramp. I could have killed him. And it would have been, they would have blamed me. Like I didn't, I didn't honk my horn. I didn't do anything like that. But I saw it, and I was like, "Oh my god, dude!" I was thinking, I was thinking just that. I was like, "Dude, if I had moved an inch, that guy would have been fucking toast." And I was like, "Dude, this is this is no joke. Like, it's cool to lane split. Probably, I'd do it if I had to lane split. I do it for emergency purposes only." Um, say, you know, you notice someone coming up behind you real quick and you're like, oh shit, they're not gonna stop. Boop, right, right in between the lanes and you ain't gonna worry about it. Um, to lane split just because you think you're hot shit on a motorcycle? No, I don't, I don't recommend that. Um, stupid, really. Uh, it's just, it's not the smart move and you're not thinking about uh, the cars, or in this instance, the truck driver. You're just not. Like, I could have gone to jail for the stupidity of some other driver, rider. Do you think that's fair? I don't think that's fair. I don't think it's fair to anybody to have to, you know, pay for someone else's stupidity out here on the road. It's not right. I just, I had to speak on it because I, I seen so much, every time I come into Cali, it's just, it's nonstop, you know, near misses out here with motorcycles, with cars. I'm like, dude, this is, the stress level is just through the freaking roof. Like, another instance, this time it's with a car, earlier, this guy, I was in the far right lane, there was a merge here out to my right people are merging I'm like I'm going like five miles an hour maybe okay merge I see a guy I'm checking my mirrors because there's always someone coming up behind you trying to freaking blast past you at the last at the literally last second and I saw a guy and I was like Boop. so I, I was at the end of the merge anyways so I, I I made sure I just moved over a little bit that way we make sure that nobody tries to you know Ride in the shoulder next to us or fucking whatever cause an accident this guy so i see him duck behind me and go all the way into the the next lane next to me on my driver's side and i'm like okay this guy's obviously upset that he couldn't fucking cut me off uh he zooms past bmw <laughs> no less oh my god don't get me started on the bmw blast past me and I see I'm looking at him and I see this guy in front of me blinker on to he's getting over perfectly fine lane change this guy in the BMW has to swerve so hard it gets into the next lane and then has to hit his brakes hard again to keep from rear ending another driver who just made the lane change and I was like, dude, you are so stupid. Just stupid. Because you're so impatient and you have this big ass ego that you have to just drive 100 miles an hour everywhere you go. What was the point? You just made yourself look dumb. 
you look dumb. People who do that, you look dumb. I hope you realize that. It's not funny. It's not cool. You just look dumb. And I was like, I was laughing. I was like, <laughs> oh, God, dude. I was like, I don't want to be around that guy. Get me away from that guy. I do my best to stay away from people like that when I see it, when I see what they do, you know, dodging in and out of traffic, speeding up, hitting brakes. I'm like, nah, dude, get away. Because I don't want to deal with you. Nobody else should have to deal with you. But, so that was my scolding. Uh, yeah, it could be a little down or whatever, but this, this is a must. People need to know this out here. Uh, motorcyclists as well. Like, get a grip on it. I'm a motorcyclist too. I don't know why everyone else is acting stupid out here. There's no reason for it. There's really no reason for it. Just be respectful to the truck driver. It's not hard to do. It really isn't. So, just two cents. People, please share it. Inform new drivers about it. I hope this reaches some new drivers so they understand the severity of the consequences when shit goes down because, you know, they were too impatient to wait behind or too impatient to let someone over. It's, you're going to get to where you're going. How do you think we feel when we have to wait and 20 motherfuckers are trying to pass us and they don't, they don't, they don't, I don't know. I don't know. But that's all I have to say for now. I hope you guys took something away from this because that was the point. And like, comment, tell me what you think. Tell me if I was wrong in something. Tell me something that I may have left out. Tell me your opinions on the matter. Any other motorcyclists out there? Tell me what you think. Was I a little bit too harsh on you guys? Or do you agree? Just let me know. I don't care. I'm open to comments. And I like to be. So. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening, though. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you later. Bye.